Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. Now we are discussing about antigen antibody interaction. In this slide, also include the topic affinity, avidity, and cross reactivity. So we can move to the slide. Antigen antibody interaction is a biomolecular association which is similar to enzyme substrate interaction. Three stages are involved in this reaction. In the primary stage, reaction is rapid, occur at a low temperature, no visible effect. Weaker intermolecular force will be present during this reaction. Primary reaction is detected by estimating free and bound antigen or antibody separately in the reaction mixture. Physical and chemical methods are commonly used for the detection. Marker analysis also used in some cases. Coombs test and fluorescent antibody tests are example of primary antigen antibody react. In the secondary stage, precipitation, agglutination, lysis of cells, killing of live antigen, neutralization of mortal organism and phagocytosis will be present. Tertiary reactions occurs in vivo initiate chain reaction that leads to neutralization or destruction of injurious antigen or tissue damage. Strength of antigen antibody interaction. Non-covalent interactions that form the basis of antigen antibody binding include hydrogen bonds, ionic bond, hydrophobic interactions, van der Waals interactions. Next, we are discussing about antibody affinity. The strength of the interaction between epitope of the antigen and single binding site of an antibody known as affinity. The force of the attraction will be strong if the shape of the epitope perfectly fit in the antigen binding site. In this case, number of bonds formed here is maximum. If the shape of the epitope not perfectly fit in antigen, force of attraction will be weak in nature. Antibody avidity The strength of the multiple interaction between a multivalent antibody and antigen is called avidity. When the number of antigen binding site increases, the strength of overall binding also increases. This is immunoglobulin G have two binding site. This is a immunoglobulin A. It has six binding site. This is a immunoglobulin M. Ten binding sites are present. That means immunoglobulin M have more strength. Next, we are discussing about cross reactivity. The ability of an antibody to react with similar epitopes on different antigen. If you like this video, please click like button, share with your friends, and subscribe my channel. Thank you.